Since the introduction of women's divisions in the UFC, we have witnessed many barn burners and highlight reels. In today's video, we will take you on a ride of the wildest knockouts in UFC women's history. And you don't want to miss number one, as it is the craziest knockout of them all. Cheyenne Lismas versus Gloria De Paula. Now we'll kick things off with UFC strawweight Cheyenne Lismas. Having failed to impress in her UFC debut against Montserrat Ruiz in 2021, Cheyenne was in desperate need of a win, and she certainly fought Gloria De Paula like her life depended on it. Right from the word go, Cheyenne pressured De Paula and put her on her heels. After a couple of solid striking exchanges, the fight hit the mat. Lise Musk then stood up, and as De Paula followed, the warrior princess landed a clean head kick to the Brazilian's face, which dropped her. Lise Musk added insult to injury with a couple of ground shots before the referee intervened, and that was that. Irene Aldana vs. Ketlin Vieira Mexico's Irene Aldana is one of the hardest-hitting bantamweights on the planet, with eight knockout wins to her name. And when she faced off against Ketlin Vieira at UFC 245 in 2020, she showed what she was capable of. The fight didn't go past the first round, as Aldana and Vieira went blow for blow, with both fighters having their moments. But just seconds before the end of the first round, Aldana stepped forward and landed a perfectly timed left hook, which shut out her opponent's lights. Molly McCann vs. Luana Carolina Molly McCann is a fantastic addition to the UFC's flyweight division. She is a wrecking ball with a chirpy persona that distinguishes her from the rest of her peers. Her reckless and aggressive fighting style has turned her into a fan favorite in no time. And back home in England, she is an absolute star. In her most recent UFC London outings, McCann produced a couple of highlight reel moments, most notably against Luana Carolina in March 2022 when she knocked the Brazilian out cold with a spinning back fist in the third round. A few months later, the UFC returned to London, and McCann faced Hannah Goldie, knocking her out with a spinning elbow followed by punches. Jessica Andrade vs. Karolina Kovalkovic Jessica Andrade is hands down the most violent woman in the sport, and back when she was a full-time strawweight in 2018, she produced arguably the most terrifying knockout in women's MMA history against Karolina Kovalkovic. Their fight lasted just two minutes, and it was an all-out brawl, with Andrade being the aggressor and Kovalkovic being the counterpuncher. Right off the bat, Andrade hurt her with a big punch. The pull was on shaky legs and backpedaled in order to survive. Kovalkovic managed to clear the cobwebs and fired back with shots of her own, but Andrade's brute force was the difference. A couple of seconds before the two-minute mark, Andrade cracked her opponent with one of her wild haymakers, and the pull crashed onto the canvas in an instant. Now, if you are loving this list so far, give that like button a haymaker of your own so we know to make more videos like this for you. Zhang Wei Li vs. Joanna Young Jacek The first fight between Zhang Wei Li and Joanna Young Jacek was a frickin' barn burner, with Joe Rogan going as far as calling it the greatest women's fight in history, and he was not wrong. It was action packed from start to finish as the two fighters relentlessly exchanged leather. By the end of the fight, both were bruised and battered, especially the boogie woman of the strawweight division, whose head was a balloon. The second fight between Zhang and Young Jacek wasn't even close. The first round was competitive, but the Chinese sensation was landing the harder shots. The trend continued in the second round, with both fighters having their moments, but Zhang was having the bigger ones. Halfway through the first round, so, Zhang forced the crowd to pressures. jump out of their seats when she oh landed a beautiful spins, spinning elbow it. that made oh. young Jaychik crash face first the onto the canvas. Oh, Rose Namajunas vs. Zhang Weili While Zhang Weili has Joanna Young Jaychik's number, Rose Namajunas has hers, and the first time the two battled for strawweight glory, it was a short night for the Chinese fighter. After defending her title in a barn burner against Joanna, Weili faced Namajunas in another high-level strawweight clash. Thanks to her power, explosive striking, and a well-rounded skill set, the champion was expected to keep her title, but Nama Yunus's deceptive striking caught her off guard. The two spent the first minute feeling each other out. Zhang relied heavily on leg kicks, while Nama Yunus was letting her hands go. Two minutes into the fight, however, Nama Yunus switched tactics and smashed her opponent with a head kick out of the blue, and the Chinese fighter folded like a lawn chair. Valentina Shevchenko vs. Jessica I. Valentina Shevchenko is one of the greatest female fighters of all time, and her run as the UFC's flyweight champion is inspirational. 
Shevchenko defended her title seven times against the top contenders in her division, but her performance against Jessica I is one that will always stand out until proven otherwise. At UFC 238, Shevchenko put her flyweight title on the line against Jessica Evil Eye. Tempers were high pre-fight because I had talked the talk and she promised to walk the walk, but she failed in doing so. Shevchenko dominated the American throughout the first round of their fight. It wasn't even close, but the worst was yet to come for I. 17 seconds into the second round, the bullet separated I from her consciousness with a perfectly aimed headshot. Amanda Nunez versus Chris Cyborg. Wildly regarded as the greatest female fighter of all time, Amanda Nunez added another feather in her cap when she challenged the most feared knockout artist in women's MMA, Chris Cyborg, for the UFC featherweight title at UFC 232. The bout between the two heavyweights of women's MMA had fans super excited, and it didn't disappoint. Being the underdog, Nunez fought like she had nothing to lose, and her plan worked wonders. In the opening seconds of the fight, Nunez landed a strategic outside leg kick to bring Cyborg's guard down. She succeeded in doing so and then landed a stinging combination, which instantly placed the reigning champion into fight or flight mode. Halfway through the first minute, the two put their power on display by trading heavy punches at short range. Nunez landed a big shot on Cyborg's chin and dropped her, but Justino showed a ton of heart by getting back to her feet until Nunez landed a few more thunderous blows that put an end to Cyborg's UFC career. Holly Holm vs Ronda Rousey Holly Holm's knockout of Ronda Rousey will forever remain the greatest in women's MMA history, given the magnitude of the occasion for both, especially for the preacher's daughter. Rousey was 12-0 when she put her Bantamweight title on the line against Holm at UFC 193. She was a massive favorite because prior to her loss to Holm, the armbar specialist was collecting limbs for fun. Holm was also expected to be a cakewalk, but as soon as the two started trading shots, Rousey realized that she had made a huge mistake by underestimating the boxing and kickboxing phenom. Holm dominated Rousey in the first round, touching her pretty face at will and blocking most of her takedown attempts. By the end of the first round, Rousey's face was a bloody mess and her mouth was wide open. The second round didn't last very long. Holm punched Rousey in the face a little more and stumbled the champ with a shot. Rousey tried to make her way back to her feet and while she was doing so, Holm landed a devastating head kick that put an end to one of the most dominant championship runs in women's MMA. Honorable mention, Amanda Nunez vs Ronda Rousey Amanda Nunez pulled off one of the biggest upsets in UFC history when she battered Ronda Rousey in her first Bantamweight title defense at UFC 207. Rousey was making her return to fighting after taking some time off to recover mentally as well as physically from her loss to home. Rowdy was a sizable favorite and her confidence was sky high heading into the fight, but the lioness ripped her apart as soon as the cage door closed. It was a complete mismatch as Nunez landed one big hit after another. Rousey was nothing but a punching bag for the Brazilian and within one minute, referee Herb Dean waved the fight off because he thought Rousey couldn't take it anymore. Props to Rousey for being tough and not going down despite getting badly beaten up nonetheless. The fight ending sequence, which was a standing TKO, isn't a knockout per se, but it was still one of the most iconic finishes in women's MMA and deserves an honorable mention. And with that, we have come to the end of our video on the wildest knockouts in women's UFC history. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and smash that notification button so you get notified the next time we upload one. Thank you a lot for watching and we will see you next time.